today. A movie very near and dear to my heart. Mm. Starship Troopers. This week, we're reviewing an actual classic, 1997's Starship Trooper. The only good bug is a dead bug. Would you like to know more? What can I say about this that hasn't been said about the Sistine Chapel? It truly is a masterpiece of cinema right here. My God, 1997? You can't fucking beat it. Sci-fi classic. From the bridge of the fleet battle station Ticonderoga, it's, I'm not reading this shit, bro. So, story go like this. They're basically high schoolers who are all in their fucking 30s, you know. Johnny Rico, he hot as hell, he dumb as fuck, he's a jock. He goes into the infantry. Meanwhile, his girl, Denise Richards, and his man's Dookie Hauser are smart as fuck. She becomes a fucking starship pilot, and he becomes like a sidekick op person. Neil Patrick Harris is in this. I don't know why he's not on the front of this, but he's like the super smart one. He dresses like a Nazi, and he's on some goddamn psyop. She's like a psychic. He got a big old brain on him. Like live in a future where like there's no more war in the fucking world. You gotta go to war if you want to become like a voting citizen. It's like on some Roman shit. I don't know, they wanna be citizens. They don't really explain it in the fucking movie at all. So they get split up right out of high school. He goes into basic training, that shit sucks. He goes to basic training and he fucking gets somebody who's killed under his watch. Next thing you know, his fucking entire crib gets destroyed by the bugs and he's all charged up off of this shit. He's about to quit and then the fucking bugs send a meteor and it blows up Buenos Aires where they're from, which also kind of ties into the Nazi thing because you know Nazis went after fucking World War II. They go to war, Gary Busey's son's in it, and there's like an electric green fiddle. Baby fighting bugs, the bugs are nasty as hell, they're really fucking big. They go on a fucking crazy killing spree of all the bugs. There's some romance between him and his high school sweetheart, Denise Richards, she's super bad. Denise Richards, bad as hell, perfect titties, she got a great fucking set on her. Uh, Johnny Rico's ex-girlfriend like dubs him and starts like banging on like the nigga that he cooked on the fucking football field back in the day. Fucking ships collided because the ants are fucking shooting what is essentially like nuclear doo-doo into space. In the end, they find out that the bugs actually are orchestrated. There is a brain bug. And there's a brain bug, which is like the smart bug. They're trying to find that because they think the bugs are stupid, but they're obviously smarter than we think. And it's fucking gross. The brain bug is disgusting. It's foul and they capture it and then they perform whatever experiments on it i guess and they fuck it with like a weird machine and it says censored and then it's like would you like to know more and there's all this like crazy shit it's a satire on like the military industrial complex it's about the fucking military industrial complex and shit and just how people get thrown into the fucking meat grind over fucking nothing think about it they're out in space fucking fighting bugs and shit is gross what what's the, what is the point like just nuke the planet why are they just throwing fresh meat into the grinder easily nine and a half chrome heart crosses out of ten one of the fucking sweetest movies of all time. It's just like a fun, freaky little ride. So I'm gonna give this one nine crumb hearts out of 10. Yeah, this shit's gas. Is it good for kids? Yes, because it teaches you to be a fucking citizen. It teaches you about how the world works and the shit goes crazy. Do I think this is good for kids? Yes and no. It depends on the age of the kid. For me as a kid, I was charged up. I watched this shit like 10 times on a fucking row because it had titties in it. But once again, it's a little look into the future that could be. I feel like every kid should watch movies about the future just so that they can understand what could fucking happen to them. And whether it be a war with the machines, the war with the bugs, you gotta keep on your fucking toes. This is a classic. This isn't that A24 bullshit or this weird hipster movie shit y'all be on. This is real fucking cinema, real classic shit.